Hello guys, Brian here, and welcome to another video, I guess, well it is a video, and uh, right now, uh, I'm gonna show you how to add a filter in your MC edit, so let's go into your browser, and in my old previous video, or maybe in the description of this video, I will put a link of part of the of both of the application that you need it so first thing you want to have a filter downloaded like any filter you want the old video I did the color command block filter and many people say like in my MCD filter there's no command block like color command block text which I do and uh, well you need to download the filter but before that you want to download the MC edit so you click this here it will bring you to this website right now and you're gonna click which one you use uh, I use Mac so I click it on, on the Apple logo and you click the top one here since the newest version and just the 0 0.1.7 for the development build but we gonna need this one so you download it uh, this one is the old version so right now you have this right and uh, you put it in the desktop all right and then now go to your color and then go to your color command block text filter or any folder you want click download uh this is bringing you to the setup link website the one that in my description and download it and drag it to your desktop or somewhere that easier you for you to find and now you can close your browser well what you want to do here is First of all, um, let me just me put it there. First of all, click your MC edit dot zip, and it will give you the MC edit application. There you go, and uh, you can drag it wherever you want, and you're good to go for the MC edit now. So you can move it to, you can delete this zip file here. Now, what? How do you gonna add a filter in your MC edit? First of all, you're gonna right click on your MC edit. And click show package content and then it will bring you to this here um, wait. Um, wait. There you go. Better. Uh, what you want to do here click the MC edit 0.1.6 Mac OS X uh, and then the folder click on it there's another MC edit application show package content and click on then then click resource and click the filter here all here the filter here that you have right now you got the create spawner add potion effect this is all came from the original one um, and then now that you download it the color command block text you just drag it in your filter folder well I have the four logo there since I already downloaded four times like I filled the video like for two times and this is like my third time <clears throat> now you can close the folder and open your MC edit just for testing that it has and uh, just wait for it wait for it it take a while for the first time you download it now you are gonna load a world or whatever well I already make the video how to use it so um, just I just want, gonna show you guys like if it seriously works or no. Just wait until the the, the world generate. So there you go the co the comment block here. You can just select it, click the filter, and you will see the color comment block text. And example, I wanna be gay color, and then you go pink and go bold, and then go like underline. You know those fancy stuff. Click filter. Control save or command save since you're using Mac and uh, you can close it now go to your minecraft open it and go to the world that you just edited it and uh, there you go say hi 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 and uh, yeah I think that's it how to add a filter in your MC edit folder or MC edit application 
and how to download MC Edit. Well, that's pretty easy, right? If you have any question, just post a comment below. If you like, thumbs up and uh, share to your friend. And yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for Seth Spling too for creating this awesome filter. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. And see you next time. Bye.